So Freddy's gotten fucking like three parking tickets in the last day. So I gave him a trick to just plant his own. That way whenever the person comes by, they're like, oh, this one's already tagged. I'm, I'm not gonna tag it. I think it'll work. Find out tomorrow. <laughs> So it's the next morning. We gotta see if the motherfucker got a ticket. Ah, oh, it worked! It worked! <laughs> what if the guy was smart enough and just replaced the new ticket and then took the old one? That's it. I'm teaching y'all how to live life one vlog at a time. If you're, if you're doing your schoolwork instead of watching air vlog, I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna turn out stupid. So today's midsummer, which is like the day that it doesn't turn dark. We're supposed to buy a tent. We were supposed to have bought this earlier. We're going to camp out on the beach, basically get fucked up. I don't know how to shop for tents, bro. This is what we. <laughs> this is what we want. Oh. That could fit. No, that worked. Hmm. That could fit too. We'll take wait. We'll take shifts. Two people wow. sleep. One what person. <laughs> one person watches. <laughs> and what's that? Is that forty bucks or four hundred? Four hundred. We should have bought a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know tents were this expensive. I could have just bought a hotel for a day. We all gotta get a chick and fucking house hop for the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that would be a banger video. Bro, what the fuck was a tent four hundred dollars? This yeah. is Rispy, you guys saw him in the last vlog. It's okay, he's talented. You know what that means? No, I don't know what that means. He's got a hot mom too, so now he invited us to dinner. Bro, come on, you just gotta, that's something you gotta deal with the rest of your life. You got blessed with good genetics. Wait, look at this fucking camera. Let's sneak this camera. No, I made them myself. I got you. You won't even notice if we switch the camera when we're eating. Maybe give him a fucking glass of champagne or two. Rain, rain, calling on my phone. Baby, baby, yeah, yeah, leave me alone. Rain, rain, calling on my phone. Baby, yeah, yeah. Ice cream is good here. Exotic. Piglin. Nogger. Nogger's probably gotta be the best one. I love Nogger's. I was told that's like a French ice cream, yeah. Nogger's are made in Paris. Yeah, I think so. He pulls out his second bed and there's mouse shit on his bed. Look at this. <laughs> there's, there? there's actual mouse poop on his bed. And a few cum stains, bro. <laughs> We're gonna start traveling with mouse shit. Plan to wherever we go and just get free hotel room. Oh, Ish, now go get it for free. Hi, um, so we got in our room mm -hmm. and there's literal mouse shit on my bed. That is not okay. That's not supposed to happen. No. Is there any way to get any compensation for that? Of course. They definitely had to have like had that before if they didn't even question. They didn't ask you for the video, they didn't do anything. No, they didn't do anything. This hotel for sure has. <laughs> Mouse food problems. Yeah, at least we got a free room. All right, boys. So you know we've been going viral a lot recently. Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Five, six, ten million views. You know we're we're popping off. People are taking our clips, uploading them as well. I want to add this segment. Reading my favorite hate comment once a video. Arab has to be the cringiest person alive. Understanding how to play surge, mats, rotation, etc. Shouldn't be a business of a grown man who doesn't have real work. I know to some of you my statement sounds subjective, as some players would be willing to reach out to a Fortnite coach and pay them. I just still see this as weird and also probably uncomfortable to all the players who play competitive. I'm not trying to hate, and I even understand how athletes have coaches where the skill gap between the two would probably be significantly different. But my point is that I feel like athlete coaches genuinely have a passion for the sport. I don't see Arab as passionate, but rather a cockroach who's managed to make a business out of this. That's my favorite hate comment of the week, boys. If you guys like that, make sure to drop a like on the video. What are you doing, bro? What? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm, I'm eating Swedish fish in Sweden, bro. Is that not like the coolest thing you've ever seen? Like, I'm a fucking hard ass. Are you fucking serious? You guys are literally interrupting our fucking vlog. I'm done with this shit. I don't support fishing. I think it kills harmless animals. So when you catch a fish, just make sure to throw it back in the water. <laughs> What's your name? A rap. A rap. Nice to meet you. A rap. Give me your fucking yeah. hand, bro. That's my name, bro. I was YouTube gay about too many years ago. You know, who you remind me of. Bro. You know, it's the Bruce TV. Bruce Lee. No. Br <laughs> <laughs> Give me a kick. Remove my jeans. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Remove your jeans. Yeah. Take your pants off. Stretch. First, stretch, stretch. <laughs> You know you can get some hot chicks from KFC. Really? Yeah. A hot chicken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally zero chicks in the spot that he took us to. Welcome to Gothenburg. Enjoy. Enjoy what? What is there to enjoy? There's like two women here. <laughs> because welcome to Gothenburg. He takes us to a sausage party. 
<laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be honest, literally like five straight days, no alcohol, just drinking water, and my pee is still not clear. Whatever we did during DreamHack was way too much. But I go in, but I get the inside scoop whether my pee is clear or not. If it's not, I definitely have liver issues. I have liver issues for sure. We literally just got dropped off in Poland. It's midnight. The whole airport's closed and our flight is in like six hours back to the US, right? There's nobody in this fucking airport. Look. We're stuck. Step, bro. Hi there. Is there any spot we can leave no, our bags? No, because you can't keep your luggage for seven hours. Oh, what if we lose it on accident? It's not possible. <laughs> if you lose your luggage, I, I'm called to, to Polish boarding guard. They can destroy your luggage. It's security procedure. Oh, they'll think it's a bomb. No. We definitely don't want to do that. I spent 20 years getting off the randomly cycle list just to be put back on it in one day. Three days at home, chill out, do some Fortnite stream. Gonna refresh a little bit, gonna recharge before we go to Vegas for the UFC Nick Merckx event. Throw it back in Vegas, you know? Maybe win a few hundred thousand dollars. I'm trying to get Leland to let me coach him in a cash cup, but he says that he gets nervous when I coach him. Nah, you just like, you hold too much weight. Good to see you again. I love always seeing you because it makes me feel like I'm the superior brother and does it? Yeah, when I notice how retarded you are. To make you think of the fact that you cross continents to meet underage children. Uh, yeah, so what, I cross continents to meet underage children. It's all good. I mean, I'm overage now, so I know I'm out of your limits, but we're still in Georgia, so we can Yeah, but you're my sibling, so it yeah, crosses yeah, yeah. out. Exactly. <laughs>